Friday afternoon and we're just hanging out here, checking out the Patreon area, just seeing what I can do. So I'll be working on this spot tomorrow. And right now, I'm just gathering inspiration. It's currently not long after 5 pm, I think it's only 5 15. But it's getting quite dark. And that's the case here during winter. The days are much shorter than before. So as much as I would want to do some work today, I would have to wait until tomorrow. But thanks to the magic of video editing, I could skip one day with a snap. Don't you wish you could time travel like that every day? Now before we start, I promised Patricia Horquera that I would greet her daughter. And I've been forgetting it for the past few episodes, so here it is. I'd like to say hello to Patricia's daughter. Her name is Sofia Aravena and she lives in the city of Angol in the south of Chile. Hi! <laughs> and now let's start. It was raining hard last night and I was unsure if I could do some landscaping today. I actually had three plans in mind. The first one is if the soil has dried out enough and the weather is fine, then I would carry on with my landscape. I'm going to work on this spot. The second is if the soil is still too wet for any work, then I might have to do some garden maintenance instead. Right now my lawn is overgrown, the grass is getting tall. And there's a lot of cleanup that I have to do anyway. And finally, if the soil is still too wet and it is rainy, then I could work on my winter propagations instead. Because I could, at least I could do that in the covers under the shade. With the looks of things, according to the forecast, the rains won't start until after lunch. It's currently about 10, 10.30 a.m. The weather is still okay. It's sunny. The skies are blue. So I think I'll carry on with the landscaping. I'm thinking of working on the tapestry here, the sea of blue, so to speak. And the thing is, the work here would be the top layer, which means that I would need to reduce the amount of soil that we see here, because right now it's too high. And if I plant anything on top, then this area would be much higher than the previous area. In order to balance things, I'm going to remove a few centimeters of the top soil. That way, I would have clearance for top dressing and other plants. Just like that, I managed to fill an entire 80 liter wheelbarrow. That's just a few centimeters off the top. Even after removing the topsoil, I think I need to remove a bit more because if I'm going to plant in here, I need to replace the soil anyway. This is going to need a lot more precision, so I'm going to use my spade instead. You can see that I dug a few centimeters down. There's actually a depression here. This would be enough for when I do the soil replacement because I'm going to place a bunch of sedums and echeverias. They don't really have deep root systems. So let's get started.
now that I'm done with preparing the soil, I could now start with working on the gradients on the ground. As discussed in previous videos, I'm thinking of doing a tapestry of blue, the sea of blue. But I'm going to do it as a gradient because like in real life, the sea is not entirely blue. There's gradients of blue. At the shore, there would be lots of white. That's from all of the foam, from the waves crashing onto the rocks. And as you go out into the sea, there would be light blue or cyan. And it progressively goes a deeper shade of blue the further out. Now, this pedestals and rocks here, I'm going to treat that as the shore. And this one, further away, would be the deeper end. So the darker blues would be right here, and the lighter ones would be further in. To serve as the foam, I'm going to use these white pebbles and I'm going to spread them next to the Tuscan rock. I was also thinking of fire glass, but I haven't had a look at the fire glass yet. So I'm going to use these ones to reserve the space to be used by the fire glass until I get there. I might be reserving all the way from here to here. So that should give you an idea of how much of the white pebbles I need. I haven't harvested much of my plant material yet, but I'm going to start with this one since they are already here. There's a, there's a few more in Bricata behind me, and these ones are deep blue, so these ones would be lining the edge.
Patreon sponsors that's Oscarino, Julie Seal, Snap Kui, Gloria Ninotti, Camille Narvaez, Linda, Tom, and everyone else. Thank you so much for your pledge on Patreon. And Linda, I'm sorry that Charlotte is not here right now. Because as you know, I've recently beheaded it in the past few months and it's still trying to grow roots. It's been too rainy for the past few days, so I'm not going to risk it out in the open for now. But as soon as enough roots emerge, I'm going to put it here. Hopefully in a few months. So I'm done with the first phase of the tapestry. And right now I work with the larger plants. In the next few episodes, I'm going to continue working on it. I'm going to fill it up, fill, the, fill in the gaps with the smaller plants, the sedums. I'm going to do some harvesting over the next few days. Hopefully this will get them ready for planting for the next episode. The rocks are still quite dirty at the moment, so in like previous end screens, I'm going to wash them off. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like on this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel Sariscapades. That way you won't miss my next episodes. Make sure to check your notification settings, the bell must be active. And I'll see you in the recap this weekend. Bye!